This is the second video in a five part series on vectors. In this video, we look at visualizing a vector as an arrow and vector addition and scalar vector multiplication. In the last video, we looked at different notations that could be used to specify vectors. The example we used focus on four vectors over R. We can represent a two vector over R as an arrow. For example, the two vector 5.0, 7.0 over R can be represented as an arrow with its tail at the origin 0, 0 and its head at 5, 7. How could we represent the following two vectors over R? We just again put the tail at 0, 0 and put the head where the vector coordinates are. A three vector over R could also be represented by an arrow in a three dimensional space. This would then provide you with the information you need to map a straight path from the origin to a destination. You can also easily add vectors together, subtract vectors from each other, and perform what is called scalar vector multiplication. So let's start by adding together the following two vectors, A and B. Vector addition achieves what we call translation. You can see we've added the first two values of vector A and B, that's the two and the six to get eight. And we've added the second two values of A and B, that's the three and the five to get eight. So when we add these two vectors together, vector C is eight, eight, and that's plotted as the purple line. Let's move on to subtracting vectors from each other. So here we've got vectors A and B. Vector C is the result of subtracting vector A from vector B. So we've got vector C now, which is four and minus 2.0, which we've plotted as the purple dotted arrow. Finally, let's look at scalar vector multiplication. We will multiply vector A by two, vector B by 3.5, and vector C by 1.25. You can see it simply extends the vector by the magnitude you specify. Scalar vector multiplication achieves what we call scaling. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. How can we visualize a two vector over R as an arrow? And how do you perform vector addition and scalar vector multiplication.